Six. A new federal defense authorization bill is nearly finalized and it could shake up the J-STARS program at Robbins Air Force Base. Zach Merchant live now at Robbins with a breakdown of the latest developments in this story. Guys, it is no secret that Robbins is one of the economic drivers in central Georgia. It employs over 20,000 people. Many of them work on the J-STARS unit, an aerial surveillance program that played a big role in the global war on terror. But if this defense bill stays the way it is right now, it could be in major changes coming soon. U.S. Senator David Perdue says the J-STARS fleet at Robbins Air Force Base has served the nation well for decades, but it's time for an upgrade. So the world's changed dramatically. Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia, there are many parts of the world that are denied access to areas militarily. But Purdue says those areas sometimes still need to be surveilled, and the aging J-STARS fleet that played a big role in the global war on terror is starting to have trouble operating in unfriendly airspace. Purdue says instead of purchasing a new fleet of J-STARS planes, a new series of surveillance technologies known as the Advanced Battle Management System, or ABMS, is more suited to these modern challenges. And that's why the Defense Authorization Bill for fiscal year 2019 allocates money to their development at Robbins. This new tech will be rolled out over the next decade, but during during those 10 years, Purdue says the JSTARS fleet will not be altered in any way. And after that period, as it gradually begins to replace the fleet and planes get decommissioned, he says no jobs will be lost. With the Air Force is now projecting that all those jobs will be moved over to the new technology. Chrissy Miner, president and CEO of the 21st Century Partnership in Warner Robins, says the ABMS mission is a welcome addition to the base. And so is the news that the JSTARS unit will be unaffected for 10 years. Good news is, again, we're talking about, um, you know, keeping, maintaining the current mission, which is critical to the warfighter, and then looking at new technologies for the future. Now, not all of Georgia's congressional delegation supported this move. Earlier this week, U.S. Rep. Austin Scott released a statement saying that by not authorizing the purchase of a new upgraded aircraft fleet for the J-STARS, this bill jeopardizes American troops. When I talked to Senator Perdue earlier today about that, he said the real threat to troops is sending them into areas where our surveillance planes and technology can't give them the information they need. Live at the Museum of Aviation, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you very much, Zach. That defense authorization bill isn't completely finalized. It cleared the House earlier this week, but still has to be signed by the president.